Hello there, and welcome back to uh, to Hispania. Uh, we'll see how this actually turns out. We started last time with, uh, well, some conquest of uh, the southern lands, and we'll probably continue along that line for to take uh, Mali and everything down here. Basically, take control of the southwestern part of the map. Uh, we'll also, as you know, as to uh, Kingdom of West Francia, and I'm a little bit unsure here if this kid will get. Yeah, he'll get Aquitaine. And basically, uh, potentially dying myself or killing off uh, my brother here would be uh, potentially a good move once I actually have uh, a proper air myself. So, uh, we'll see what the plans are. I won't, as you know, uh, lean on back simply because I've invested a lot of uh, a lot of tech points into it. So, I'll be saving my, my points for now. I don't think there's any, uh, any limit to how many points I can actually have. So, it should be, uh, it should be fine to do so. But uh, enough about that. Once we're taking West France, we'll probably go north, take England, take uh, Scotland, Ireland, uh, basically take this area, uh, put it under uh, Hispanian control, and basically see how it uh, turns out. Well, I will be experimenting in this game. It's most likely uh, handing out all the kingdoms except a couple of the biggest ones, like uh, West France, Aquitaine, Burgundy. Burgundy will probably hand out Italy, perhaps. Uh, so basically, it's. Uh, it's a little bit of a to show how you would go ahead and control uh, control king vassals rather than dukes because kings can be a little bit more troublesome and also it will most likely hurt my income which will uh, make it a little bit more challenging for myself to right now I hold how many I hold three king titles I should potentially uh, lower that to about one I don't think I hold any land in uh, in Castile, so handing this duke the the kingdom of Castile. Well, I have one province, so I might give it to family member, something even. We'll see. But uh, as you know, the plan is to continue the conquest here. We're currently in war for uh, Ghana down south. Uh, should be a, a fairly easy victory once we're actually done. But uh, we also have uh, a couple of other issues that we have to deal with. But uh, I'm pretty sure that we should be able to handle them. I'll send these guys to the west east coast here to take Tunis, take uh, some of the lands here, and we'll be uh, most likely inviting, uh, since I will be handling kingdoms, I'll most likely invite a claimant. Uh, I can actually, no, uh, that's a little bit annoying, but still, I can invite a claimant and then um, simply push their claim for uh, for the kingdom, so to speak, and then we'll, we'll be uh, using that to uh, to keep growing. And see how fast we can take the world that way. The only real issue here is uh, if I want to. They actually formed Carpathia. Wow. Never seen that before. Actually, I, I kind of like those two horses. That's that's kind of pretty. But still, uh, I got off tra out of track here. But still, as I said, I'm most likely to take every Catholic uh, kingdom and so forth and simply uh, put them under my. with. Uh, by taking, uh, taking control over. Over the crown, inviting an heir, then use him as uh, leverage, take the lands that way. But uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. So for now, I'll just finish the war with for uh, Ghana, and then we'll see how how it stands. A little bit of a good news here: we have uh, successfully killed off uh, my mother, the Queen of West Francia, and uh, apparently I have been found out. But still, I have inherited uh, lands, Malouin, Paris, to be exact. Which uh, would potentially be a better capital than Lyon, since I will most likely be handing out the uh, the kingdoms, as you know. So uh, I will most likely want to kill off uh, my kid or my kid brother, since I'm the heir to everything he owns. So then I can uh, distribute the lands in uh, a much better fashion. So we'll go ahead and do that, and also, uh, yeah, I think I'll actually move, take Paris as uh, as the capital. Build another uh, city here, and then uh, basically, uh, well, use it for my own purposes. But uh, it should help to simply make uh, Paris the capital. We'll be going for military organization here as well, so uh, I'll be a little bit behind in tech for uh, a little while, but uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Also, it seems that these guys are going to war against. Well, it doesn't matter. You will all. Fortunately, stand down. Two and a half thousand uh, retinue troops. Good. We'll add them to uh, to our army, and uh, we'll be using them to uh, to attack. Uh, I rule in my realm. 
I think we'll go for that one. Or we could always hand him some gold too. That works. But, uh, yeah, the goal here will be to now go after Burgundy, go after Italy, because I have a guy who can actually, uh, can actually take those lands for me. And with the end of Carolingian domination in West France, the realm is now more commonly referred to as the Kingdom of France. So, uh, there we go, West France is now France, and, uh, well, can't complain about that score. So, uh, what we will be doing now is uh, take everything from uh, my kid brother, then we'll hand out the kingdoms of Leon, uh, most likely Castile, and not, probably not Navarra, Aragon, Portugal, Galicia, basically all the small kingdoms. I'll probably keep Mauritania, or I could potentially hand that one out as well. Shouldn't really be an issue. Aquitaine and France, I think I'll keep. I'll be moving my base of power up here. It's a little bit uh, weird since I am. Uh, I am Hispanian, but I will probably move the capital closer to uh, Hungary, Serbia, Croatia uh, later on because it's more like uh, if I want to actually have it in the center of the map, I should have it in Bulgaria or Greece, uh, probably up in Wallachia. Uh, in terms of spawning troops, in terms of having control, but with, uh, with the uh, Red News, once they're big enough, it won't matter, so I'll probably move, uh, move back to Leon later. But for now, we'll be plotting to uh, kill my brother. And uh, then I'm pretty sure that we'll uh, go after Burgundy and Italy and try to incorporate uh, them as well. Apparently my kid brother is in a bad spot, could potentially die already, and he did. Good thing, that means I have uh, all the lands, all the crowns back under my control. And with this I should potentially start handing out some of these, uh, these lands to people who, uh, well, are family. So uh, I'm pretty sure we'll actually... Uh, actually start doing that straight away. This guy is my kin. He is Castilian. I, I believe he's stuck in Castile. Cuenca. Yeah, he's under the Duke of uh, Castile. I'll make you the Duke of Toledo if I can. Nope. Aquitaine, Barcelona and Leon. So yeah, I could potentially have moved the capital back to... Uh, what's the traditional capital of... Yeah, well, we'll find it later. But uh, more right new troops, good. Can add them to uh, to the fold, so to speak. But as I said, we'll be going off the Burgundy now, and I should potentially hand out these uh, these lands before I do so. I will keep Leon and Salamanca though, since those are actually uh, actually lands that belong in uh, in uh, county of. Well, I'll hand out the lands, then I'll get back to you. Handled as much as I can to my family without uh, actually creating any super dukes within. So uh, I think we'll live with this for now. I'll hand out uh, the kingdoms a little bit longer down the line once I actually have a little bit uh, or have a uh, something that's a little bit more stable. Then we'll actually start creating duchies and so forth and start uh, handing them out really to start getting some sort of uh, control here. We can potentially create at least some duchies now. Slowly but surely, so uh, we'll have to see how uh, how this actually plays out. But for now, we'll be uh, slowly but surely trying to uh, to make things work. I don't get why that county actually falls in under the Duchy of Aragon because she is yeah she's actually have some lands there, so I guess it makes sense that way. But still, make Beja. So yeah, what we're aiming for is trying to create some sort of. Uh, some sort of control I guess, but uh, we'll see how it turns out and then I'll get back to you. As you can see, Burgundy is currently embroiled in uh, a civil war, which is quite good for us because uh, this means that we can now uh, go ahead and push the claim. Uh, we'll take Burgundy first, then we'll do Italy uh, afterwards, and uh, I'm pretty sure this should uh, pay off well. I will probably get into some sort of, uh, well, issues I guess with, uh, with, uh, the fact that he um, might not like being uh, a vassal of mine, but still, we'll uh, subjugate him. We'll uh, go for uh, an old school or kind of gaming tactic. If they rebel and I'm in trouble, I'll most likely just go for the assassinations because uh, as long as you have money in this game, you're basically free to do whatever you want. And uh, once you actually start getting a little bit big, uh, like me. You uh, more or less have the money to do whatever you want, and then you can simply uh, claim kingdoms 
and not have any problem doing so thanks to the fact that you have the money they uh, won't actually be able to uh, to fight you if even if they wanted if you uh, if you play your cards right so uh, we'll see how this goes as you can see here we're just slaughtering their uh, their men without any problem at all the only real issue I have right now is uh, the fact that title loss on succession here as you can see uh, my realm will more or less split but since I am an empire it's only the kingdom title so I really need to uh, to create a legitimate uh, a legitimate heir uh, myself son daughter doesn't really matter I simply need uh, one of the two to uh, be able to make sure that my to make sure that my kingdom doesn't split or what am I saying kingdom to make sure that my empire doesn't split so uh, we'll see how this actually ends up turning up but for now we'll be uh, We'll be trying to uh, to take advantage of these guys, kick their asses, and otherwise just uh, take the kingdom of Burgundy. It shouldn't really take that long, so uh, once I've actually won, I'll get back to you, and uh, we'll see if we'll go for the assassination, then take Italy, or if we'll uh, if we'll wait plot. It doesn't really matter. We will most likely go after Italy as well. Uh, the funny thing is, though, since I made the guy that's a claimant a uh, a prince bishop, I think. I'm pretty sure that this will become a uh, a uh, let's see here. He actually kept some of the lands, which is kind of weird, since uh, it hate, I hate the fact that the Geo lands doesn't really matter because this is the Geo Burgundy, and I fought fourth for the Kingdom of Burgundy, but I still didn't get it. So I guess the system's a little bit flawed. But what I want to say is that I create a King Bishop, and they have a tendency to like you a little bit more. Uh, don't really know why. Free investiture. Makes him uh, like me as well. So uh, yeah, also you get all of the all the church view grant and things. So as long as you are a very nice guy, you ba basically are in a position of power over your king bishops. It seems that we could potentially plot to kill him. So we'll uh, we'll go for try go for pulling that off, and we'll also be uh, trying to uh, get some more duchies and such under our uh, under our uh, command ownership so forth so uh, we'll also probably start causing some more trouble down here didn't really pay much attention once I got the Italian but uh, I'll probably go for uh, taking all of these lands and then we will start uh, start hunting uh, hunting other people so while we're at it we might as well go ahead and invite a claimant to uh, no one that actually wants to come that's a little bit too bad I do have nope I thought it was sitting in my prison it wasn't kind of disappointing, but still, we'll see if we find any more claimants for the other kingdoms. There should probably be at least a couple, and if there aren't, then we well, it seems like they aren't actually willing to get here. So let's see here. We'll not accept an invitation. Why? No reason to move. How about you? No reason to move. So basically, they will not come because they have no reason to move. But uh, still, I can always push for Italy, then we'll probably, uh, if we board them, I think they'll actually join me then. But uh, we'll have to wait and see, we could always take the Kingdom of uh, Frisia while we're at it. And we actually have someone who is uh, willing to uh, to take on the task, so we'll invite him, give him uh, a county, maybe make, uh, no, Frisia is so small, I don't actually have to make a uh, Prince Richard, we'll make him, give him Breda, I think. And then we'll move our uh, move our troops up north, and then we'll take uh, Frisia as well. Well, I have no idea what happened here, but apparently I got uh, Italy. So I need to do a quick little check here to see what actually happened. I'm pretty sure it could have potentially been a uh, a inheritance, but since this guy is, or he pushed the claim himself, I don't actually know. Let's see here. Yeah, it seems he pushed the claim himself for Italy. And that means that we now have the Grand Theocracy of uh, uh, Italy, Burgundy. Well, can't complain, they took the lands for me. Frisia is under our control. Unfortunately, Denmark took uh, two provinces in Holland before I actually, uh, actually got as far as to take them. So, uh, we're currently fighting the Danes for uh, Holland, of all things. But, uh, should be an easy victory. We also got some more lands up north. Uh, could also be useful. We'll most likely go after England soon enough as well. But uh, I think this will uh, more or less mark the end of uh, of this episode. I also have some uh, pretty good news. I have an heir. My uh, wife had twins, it seems. So uh, that puts me in a position where I have one boy and one 
and one girl, and I can use them to, uh, well, more or less get uh, get things going. Because now I don't have to fear anything that my kingdom will split. The only thing is two kingdoms that will be inherited, uh, the ones with elective, will be giving to uh, two members of my family. So, uh, no, I'm not losing them. That's, uh, that's not the only real issue here is the vassal inheritance. For, well, some people, King Georg of Friese will be inherited by my nephew. Of Luxembourg under the Lotharingians. So uh, we'll be taking uh, Lotharingia pretty soon I think, but other than that it shouldn't really be uh, be an issue here. I think I'll actually go ahead and hand everything over to her. I don't have any family members to hand land over to uh, still, so uh, I'll be handing everything over to her. She is the um, Duchess of, uh, of Holland, so it's only fair. But uh, as you can see, we've made pretty good progress, and hopefully we'll continue along uh, the same lines. So uh, next time we'll probably go after England, Bavaria, and uh, West Francia. We'll see how that turns out, but uh, I think we'll uh, end up with a success. We'll simply have to see it. So uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.